Hi, my name's Reverend Ollie Preston. I'm from the parish of St. Peter's Halliwell in Bolton. I want to bring you another thought for the day from our church. Today I want to talk to you about justice, about a cause that has been very close to my heart for the last few months, for the last couple of years really. And so I want to share a verse for you that's been quite well known, which even if you don't know the reference, you maybe will have heard the words before from the prophet Micah in the Old Testament, chapter 6, verse 8. The prophet says, he has shown you what is good, O mortal, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. One of many verses that I could have chosen where the Bible speaks about God's desire for justice, for things to be right, for equity, for people to have a fair treatment, the Bible talks about God standing with the poor and the oppressed, having a particular care for the fatherless and the widow. We see this in the life of Jesus. We see this all the way through the Old Testament prophets. We see it in the way that God lays out law and in what God asks for us to do, to love our neighbour as ourself, particularly when we see a neighbour who is in distress. I've uh, positioned this canvas behind me that we found in a charity shop a while ago of a beautiful tree because for me one of the biggest justice issues that we face at the moment is how we treat our climate, our shared environment where we, uh, we all as humans live together on this one planet and yet many of us who are, are in nations where we are wealthier and more developed treat the world as if it were our own playground, as if its resources were up for grabs and whoever's got the most money or the most opportunity gets to take whatever they can and leave the rest for everyone else to fight over. I think the climate crisis that we're in at the moment is one of the most pressing issues that we face as humanity and I think as a church we need to step up and, uh, and say, speak God's word into this to speak particularly about justice and care for neighbour. As we work through the really complex issues of how and when we can and should be stepping away from a carbon-based economy, how we can change technologically, how we can change our life habits and patterns, and particularly how we do that now in the light of moving out of the economic and global crisis caused by the COVID-19 virus. I think justice is going to be really core at the heart of that. Justice, where those of us who probably can afford to weather some of the extreme weather, those of us who can afford to continue polluting, many of those countries, us in the UK included, who have caused more of this crisis than many other nations, whether we will use this time and use more carbon intensive things, abuse the climate further, cause more damage and distress to the world at the expense of others for our own economic stability, for our own lifestyle and enjoyment, or whether we will choose to stand in justice and solidarity with others and say, I might need to make some sacrifices. Maybe our economic recovery doesn't come at any cost and we can think about creative ways that we can have a thriving nation within a stable and thriving planet where we have justice. Ruth Valerio in this excellent book that I will continue waving around called Time to Act. Ruth Valerio, well known as someone who has headed up um, the Arosha charity, which has done Eco Church, which I highly commend to you, writes this. We worship the Lord of all creation and our primary allegiance is to him. To a God who calls us to act justly, love mercy and walk humbly. We face a situation where we do not see justice being done, where we do not see mercy being shown to those living in poverty or to other creatures, and where we see leaders of both nations and corporations proudly acting in their own economic interests. In the words of Dietrich Bonhoeffer regarding resistance to the Nazi state, the role of the church in such times is not just to bandage the victims under the wheel, but to put a spoke in the wheel itself. This sign comes from when myself and my family went on a march to act 
to ask for justice uh, back when we were allowed to do such things. It's still a cause that's close to my heart. I think justice is close to the heart of God. And so I offer you these words from the prophet now. What God asks for us is not great sacrifices which the prophet moves past, not endless piles of cows or oil or anything else, but lifestyles that reflect his heart to act justly, to love mercy and to walk humbly with God. God bless you.